Good morning. Out here today at Guanella Pass. It's Memorial Day weekend 2019 and today we're gonna to be hiking the mountain right behind me here, Mount Bierstad, for a full hike review of Mount Bierstad. Check the link below. If you've never done Mount Bierstad, it's one of the easiest 14ers in the state uh, and it's a zoo all the time which is crazy because even today it's a zoo and this road opened two days ago and there's already 10 cars up here and it's 6 a.m. So when I say start early, that's the kind of early start I mean. And it's May, so fast forward to June, July, August, it's gonna get even busier. This is definitely a good 14er for those of you who are looking to start off. Um, if you've never done one, um, if you're kind of trying to acclimate yourself to higher elevation peaks, this is a good one. Uh, it's class one, which means that it's basically like walking on a dirt path all the way up to the summit. This is Mount Bierstad right there. Sawtooth is here. And then Mount Evans is like through that way. You can see there's a hiker around here and you're just gonna work your way up, up, up. And then the top is there. It's class one. Uh, right now there's a little snow, but you don't need anything more than micro spikes um, to tackle this. Uh, it's very easy to follow the trail. Today, obviously there's snow, so it'll be a little tricky, but I'll give you some tips along the way. Um, it's definitely dog friendly, but try to keep your dog on a leash just because there's so many people here. You don't you know, just proper dog etiquette. From car to car, it's about uh, six and a half miles. Um, and then obviously if you want to extend this, there's other options to go over to Evans via the Sawtooth, which is behind me as well. And then you can come down and there's some other 13ers in the, in the area too. So really a lot of options here once you're on top of Beerstad to kind of like, you know, make a longer hike if you want to. I can't tell right now, but this right here is a little creek. Uh, so in the summer, it can be maybe five, six feet wide. And if we've had a, a good spring, then you might have a, a little bit of an interesting time crossing it. I haven't been to Beerstadt in a while, but I don't believe there's a bridge or anything. So you just kind of have to work your way across it. Well, it's not a big deal, but waterproof hiking boots might be a good thing for this. So we've kind of uh, worked across the initial plane here, and now we're getting to the uh, western slopes of Beerstadt and basically you just kind of want to work your way to like the saddle right there and then once you're excuse me on that you just bang a left from the summit it's right there near the top of the ridge now you can kind of see the uh, road there Guanella Pass so speaking of Guanella Pass uh, it is seasonally closed so anytime really after October-ish, you want to check uh, to make sure that's open. If you plan on hiking up here, if the road is closed, you can pick up usually an additional um, three, four miles round trip. And that's from the Georgetown side. If you go from the Grant side, which is the south side of the pass, uh, it's much more. I wouldn't recommend uh, attempting it from that side. On the uh, last section of the western slopes here in the summer this trail will be extremely evident where it is in the winter you just kind of want to or spring uh, you just kind of want to follow the path of least resistance so if there's another uh, path in front of you which there most likely be most likely will be because this mountain is so popular that's the way you want to go uh, once you get to this don't get too excited because that is a false summit. You still have a little bit to go after that. Looking back down, parking lot is right around there. And then looking up here. So as I mentioned before at the beginning, once you kind of have gained the ridge, you want to bear left. You might be able to see some hikers right around there. Sun's pretty brutal, but they're right around there. That's the final uh, ridge. And then you have a little bit of a flat, I believe, once you're up there. Um, so yeah, again, in the summer, it'll be very, very obvious where to go. But in the winter or spring, usually there'll be something like this to follow. On the uh, ridge now, about two and a half miles or two hours from the car to here. Next up, the final ridge, which is up there. Uh, one note about coming here in the spring or winter. You'll be able to see a cornice right there. Stay away from that. So stick to this side where it's 
a little bit less exposed from the wind and uh, yeah the summit is is basically right there views up here not bad at all snow makes everything look so much prettier summit is right there Alright, summit of Mount Bierstadt. Uh, the wind is non-existent up here, which is pretty awesome, and there's only one other person, which is also really, really rare for Mount Bierstadt. I'll leave you with some uh, summit views here. So Mount Evans is right over there. And of course the sawtooth is just down here back down in the lower basin now after a uh, full day up on Bierstadt or about a half day um, we originally started to go down the sawtooth got maybe about a quarter of the way down and it just wasn't safe in terms of snow for our comfort level so we turned around but still had a nice day on Bierstadt a crazy amount of people here uh, obviously it's Memorial Day weekend so there's a lot more people in Colorado but uh, like I said earlier the pass just opened two days ago and there are you know, we saw at least 40, 50 people up there today, uh, which is pretty nuts. So uh, overall, a good day. The snow conditions here are gonna be like this for a while. So if you're coming in the next month or so, definitely have some snowshoes, which we found helpful on the way up. Um, maybe micro spikes for the way down if you're looking for a little bit extra traction. But outside of that, you know, hiking poles if you like to use those. Um, this is definitely dog friendly. So uh, if your dog is good in the snow, just try to keep him on a leash, like I said earlier. Uh, for a full hike review of Mount Bierstadt, check the link below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Please subscribe to not miss any future hike videos as well.